Now, two people here, and Hook sees out of it. It's all on Monacy. Ten seconds left. This can't be one. He's not got time for it. Kadian will take him down, and it's heroic. Making the Royal Arena to battle Liquid. Ten of the last 11 rounds. Heroic just set up a wall. That defense was impenetrable, and they get a play in front of the home crowd. It's their turn to win some hearts. It's their turn to win some fans. Kadian, you guys just knocked yourself into the finals right there, knocking out G2. Talk us through your emotions, not just right now, but also throughout the maps, because this was actually kind of close on Vertigo. My bag is wet. I'm sweating. You know, that was a very tough game. I think G2 played insanely well, especially on the CT side. So in the last two maps, we had many struggles. Uh, Nico was doing his things, Money C as well, and yeah, it was not an easy game. And I mean, now there was some talks about Jakinda saying that uh, it's the same kind of G2. I think they played uh, very good in this game at least, and they pushed us to the limit. And yeah, it didn't feel comfortable at all. <laughs> and what was the toughest part? Because now you've just rounded off a little bit here, but what was the toughest part about getting through these three maps right now? Seeing the third map being down 11-5, and they have like economical advantage, and you want to go to the Royal Arena. F me, you know, man, that was not uh, that was not nice at all. So yeah, they, we won some crazy round where I think they were maybe overthinking a little bit. They pressured A, I called my teammates to stack B, they said B is free. Then they retook B and threw a lot of grenades and were like, ah, oh, damn, so they're gonna go B. And then they just ran back with 20, 20 seconds. And I don't know what to say, that round was so messed up, but I think it ruined their confidence a bit because, um, yeah, that was not pretty. And uh, some of us in the green room, we were kind of just all in awe about what Shush did at, uh, at one point on Vertigo. Do you think he was uh, the X Factor right now? Yeah, it's amazing to see when Erasmus is playing like that and when he uses his uh, Coronas because he has a lot of them and when he's like free to play that kind of style and he's feeling it, he's so dangerous to play against. So uh, yeah, it's always nice like that. I remember yesterday before we had to play the game, you know, you feel a little bit down after the uh, game against FaZe and uh, I was about to go to bed super tired and she sent me a long message saying how this was going to be a good day. And that means a lot. That's fantastic. I love these emotions as well. How does it feel knowing that you're now going to into the uh, Royal Arena, facing off against some of the best teams right now? Yeah, it's, uh, that's amazing. You know, like the pressure off our shoulders to go there, it's just something we really want. We all have a lot of like friends and family who, who has to come and, you know, would be so gutted not to go there. So, yeah, that's obviously amazing. A lot of pressure off our shoulders now. And I'm just so proud of the guys, to be honest. Fantastic. And Katie, and just to round things off, we have one question from the Blast.TV users out there, and they're asking, who was your favorite childhood hero? My favorite what? Childhood hero. Oh, that's a good question. I liked uh, Fernando Torres a lot back in the days, and David Villa, you know, the two Spanish strikers in football, they were amazing. So maybe, maybe one of those two. All right. Thank you so much.